Okay, welcome. Uh, the purpose of this video is to describe how to do collections involving arrays for the LNSKI object database. In the previous video, we had shown you how to create um, basically a, a composite involving lists. So in this case, the purpose of this video is to show exactly the same sort of functionality, but involving arrays. So the, what we're gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run the script and show the output um, so basically in tutorial, there's, there's no database here. And so it's going to create a database called, um, Z tutorial.dbgamers.db. So when I run the script, it's going to create a bunch of data for me and it's there. And now I'm just going to show what that output looks like. So here's the output and actually I believe I can stop it. Good. I can stop it. So it's easier to read. So basically what we have is uh, here's Louise, Lisa, and Linda, and all of their food items. And when I properly output this stuff, that's exactly what I see. And of course, the, the game database does now exist. So let's talk about um, the, the, the scripts that are here. So basically there's four scripts. There's a create gamers, there's a show gamers piece, um, the, probably one of the sort of made, well, I won't say major differences. One of the differences between the previous script and this script is I now use a constant to identify the gamer object. So inside of the gamer object for class name, I return gamer object. And that's just so that we know we're dealing with the same named object. Um, otherwise inside of, uh, the gamer, um, uh, script, basically it's all the same. There's one attribute or one um, method here called add food and you specify a food element and it will update the array and add um, the food item here. So when the, when the gamer is first created, gamer foods has no elements in the food array and this array resize will basically take uh, gamer foods and make it one larger and then it'll assign essentially the last entry into this array. So that's how the array gets built up over time. The definition looks pretty much the same. We have a, uh, a name and a position. And then if we're doing a load, we initialize, initialize the gamer foods um, array with zero elements. And then when we make the call, um, we make a call to a new uh, method called array. I, I actually tried to implement uh, with a collection, but it turns out there's an unsupported feature um, so at least for unity, it doesn't work, might work in later versions of C sharp, but essentially you have a descriptor, uh, you have this array call, you have a food definition, which is this call down here. This is the gamer food. So this is the array of food items. And then there's an extra parameter called add food. And basically it's making this call here. So basically what happens is we come into this, into the script, we have a couple of temporary variables. I'll explain that in a second. So when we're saving, we're basically taking this food item and we're writing out the attributes for that food item out to the database. So I have inventory name and I have inventory count. Now, when we're loading, uh, we have to do some extra things. So the, th the first thing we have to do is we have to actually get the values out of the database and into these temporary fields. And then when we're loading, we want to add the food. So here's our add food method. And we're creating a new food instance with the name and the count. So that's how it loads it in. And the rest of it is the same. So hopefully that's enough. And if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.